Hi, Psychic Medium Victoria Alvarado here with today's guidance. Um, kind of a spirit about what does the TikTok collective need to know at this moment. So we're going to look into your ex-partner. Uh, I'm going to be a little nosy, I guess. Some of you guys kind of want to know what's going on now that you've broken up with this person. And I've already pre-shuffled the cards and the cards flew out and I'm just going to pick up from there. So when it comes to your ex, I kind of feel like they're unfazed by you walking away, okay? This person is like, they don't care that you left them because they really weren't fully invested emotionally in the relationship with you. Now, with this forever changed card was in the block section, so it tells me that this person's not gonna change. You know, they didn't learn their lesson. You know, they're, they're, they are who they are and they're just stuck in this karmic situation. I get, again, I keep hearing, um, on TikTok, they talk about the, the karmic and the masculine, divine masculine. This person is a karmic, okay? This person has always been a karmic. They know that they know who they are and they don't care. They're not phased by it. Um, in the relationship when they were with you, they always felt like the grass was greener on the other side. They were always looking for someone bigger and better than you, okay? And they didn't even bother to hide it, okay? I mean, you knew for years that this person really was not fully invested in you. Now, right now, it's almost like they're shutting down too at the same time. Spirit says that they shut down for a while, okay? It's almost like they didn't want to, to fully date somebody. Um, what I'm hearing is that they weren't really committed to anybody. They're still not really committed to anybody. They're just looking around. They're looking. They're looking for the perfect mate. And Spirit says that this is a divinely guided situation. I kind of feel like Spirit is telling me that you had to leave your situation because you already knew that this person really just did not give two shits about you. They were not a good match for you. Um, they were never going to be a healthy person is what I'm being told, okay? And Spirit says that you're going on a better path, okay? You got some blessings coming your way now that this person is no longer in your life. Now with this person though, he he or she thinks that they got good things coming, but they're not. Um, it kind of feels like right now that they're just partying, party, party. They're just going out with their friends. They're enjoying being single. They're um, single and want to mingle is what I'm hearing in my head. And it's almost like they're just on the prowl right now looking for someone that is better looking than you, better than you in every way. But to be honest, there ain't nobody better than you, baby. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. But I mean, th that was as good as they were going to get. Um, you were really, they, they should have felt blessed that you were even in their life. And what I'm being told is that God is telling me this person's never going to find another divine feminine or divine masculine like you. They're always going to find these hood rats is what I'm being told. These thoughts, okay? They're going to keep finding these type of people. But you know, it's almost like this is what this person likes. They don't, they don't want a good girl. They don't want a good boy, okay, is what I'm being told. Now, if we're going to see what's the T, what's going on, what's going to happen to this person, the first card that jumped out was justice. I honestly feel like this person's going to get into a lot of legal issues, I hear jail time. I kind of feel like if we talk about justice, it doesn't have to necessarily be legal. I'm also being told that if they're on the prowl and looking and just like, I'm not trying to be with anybody right now. I'm just trying to just, you know, sleep with just anybody and everybody. This is where divine justice is going to come in because this person is going to necessarily. What, okay, I'm hearing they're going to get an STD. Okay, they might also get somebody pregnant and be stuck with this thought rocket okay they're gonna get stuck with this ratchet ass person okay that's gonna give them way more trouble and way more problems because it's almost like what they did to you is coming back on them times 10 and it's almost like they're thinking uh wait a minute um things are not making sense here you know what I mean because I'm just a good person I'm this and I'm that and I should have gotten way better than than this when I left this other person that I thought was trash, when really, in all honesty, you weren't, okay? Now, Spirit is saying that they're gonna get stuck with the new boo, okay? They they may get stuck with this person because they got an STD that they can't get rid of. They may get stuck with this person because now they have a baby with this person. But I honestly kind of feel like these are lessons that need to be learned. Like this person really needs to get 
they're butt whooped spiritually, energetically. I kind of feel like this person is going to keep repeating the same cycle over and over again. Um, they're going to get rid of that person or try to, but they can't. Okay. At the same time, at the same time, I'm also being told that love spells are being done. I feel like they're doing love spells on you too, or they're going to do it eventually because they're going to want you to come back. Okay. They're upset at the fact that you turned your back on them. So they're doing love spells. They're wanting you to come back into their life because things are not going the way that they thought. You know, the grass is not greener on the other side. They're, they're not experiencing anything positive in their life. You know, it kind of feels like they're realizing that, that they treated this perfect man or this perfect woman wrong. And so they're wanting this person back because it's not because they love them. It's because you were their biggest supporter. You were the, the moral person in that relationship that tried to keep them on the up and up. But again, this person is never going to change. They are who they are. And you are going to have to just accept the fact that they were just a low down, dirty dog. Okay. And, you know, with that being said, if they are doing love spells, it's not working. Okay. It's not working because... It, Again, you're divinely guided. Again, you're being protected by spirit so that these things no longer phase you anymore. You're no longer trying to go back into that trap, into that web that I'm being here and being told here. Two more, two more cards that fell. I kind of feel too that this person has a lot of secrets, like a lot, a lot of secrets. You know, this person. And it's so funny, they're saying that this person's on the down low. And you know what, to be honest, I kind of feel like this person has done jail time before. And if they're going to go back to jail again, their new boo might be their new boo in their jail cell, okay? I mean, I'm, tell I'm telling you, this person has some issues about their sexuality. They're not sure about who they are when it comes to being with people or maybe they're just very fluid and they really don't care they're bisexual they go with men and women they get love wherever they can get it from okay and but the thing is is that this person is so angry and treated you badly because they've been in the closet this whole entire time because they didn't even know who they were okay now again i also kind of feel that this person watches you, okay? Maybe you're, you are an actual influencer, but for some reason, I feel like this person keeps tabs on you. They're looking at your social media. They're looking at what you're doing. They might know people that know you and they're asking them, hey, how's so-and-so doing or what's going on with so-and-so? Like they try to strike up a conversation with this person and it's like they're getting intel from a third party is what I'm being told. Spirit is saying that, it, it, that you really did well by walking away from this person. What else do you need to collect to know before the time constraints? I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna pick that up. Again, this, little, this person lost the opportunity to be with you. I mean, they have plenty of times to make things right and make amends, say that they were sorry and actually change their behavior towards you. And I kind of feel like you tried over and over again. You were in this cycle over and over again, thinking that maybe this person um, is going to change. You saw that the potential this person could have. But to be honest, it just was fake. It was all fake. This person's fake. All right, come on, Spirit. What else do they need to know? Spirit says here that, again, you made the right decision. I feel like now... You're standing up for yourself. I feel like now you're you're clear about the type of partner that you want to be with. And the more that you are clear about what you want in a relationship and you start to set healthy boundaries, this is when the perfect mate is going to come into your life. You've got to be patient. If you want a reading, comment below and ask your questions and I'll reply with a video.